Get my Asian bling bling going on, you know? So I wasn't too... Oh. I'll buy one. So that's what... Did I say Dr. Pepper? I, I mean Pepsi. I mean Pepsi. Pepsi raw. Dr. Pepper. I just came to... I want, I want to drink Dr. Pepper, to be honest. Like, just, oh, uh, I love Pepsi, but the, uh, the taste is way too strong for me. Then uh, you want more natural taste, my ass. Okay, going to the second. The bling bling bands. I like that. So I'm gonna. Every single day. Hey guys, Tony Soy Sauce Assassin. Welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. And today we are doing something that I kind of want to try for a little bit and I didn't bother until now. Uh, it is the Sancho Panza uh, TAA exclusive. There you go. And, and here's the thing about this cigar is that this arrangement with the band on top and the band on the bottom looks normal to me. So it was fine. When I first saw it on half wheel, this band was right here and that looks weird and then it didn't attract me. And not to mention, they didn't show the gold band. They showed the band as like a, uh, uh, like an orange yellow color, wasn't a gold band. So that didn't get my Asian bling bling going on, you know? So I wasn't too interested. But then I saw it on the website that I was purchased from, I forgot where I purchased from, but it was showing that as a gold band. It looks just like this on the picture. I was like, oh, I'll buy one. So that's what I end up doing this now, even though TAA is a while back. This thing is uh, five and five by 50 Robusto. The wrapper is from Honduras. Uh, binders from Jalapa, Nicaragua, and fillers are Nicaraguan, Condega, and and Jalapa, which is technically Nicaragua, isn't it? <laughs> oh, okay. Fueler is Nicaraguan from three different regions. Condega, Esteli, and Jalapa. There you go. All right, so. Uh, without too much of information on this thing, other than the fact that it's $8.99. Oh, my nose tickles. <clears throat> Oh, is that pepper? No, okay. So I smell something weird. I mean, that, that tickled my nose a lot, a lot. Uh, yeah, anyways, so let's go. Oh, it doesn't smell good. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Smells like a sweet leather of some sort. On the outside, it smells like <clears throat> old box. Yeah. Sweet leather, old box. I don't know why. What the hell? Not my nose day. Kind of light. Oh, that's not a good draw. That is not a good draw. Ooh, that's packed. I gotta make it work. I gotta make it work. Cold draw. Leathery.
Leathery and floral. A little bit floral. All right, that's... <clears throat> it's weird. Let's light it up. Don't disappoint me. Don't disappoint me. All right, the draw is tough. That's a little tough. This is also the first Central Pizza that was that was made in Nicaragua, supposedly. So I had a good, good hope. All right, damp, 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 damp sourness, like a damp. Leaf. A little bit of walnut. Toasted walnut, maybe. Ooh. There's a little bit of toasted nuts in there. Mixed nuts. A little bit of bitterness. Little bit of spice, not spicy spice, but like baking spice. Mm. There's a lingering bitterness to it, and it's like a really damp bitterness. There is definitely some earthiness to it too. It's really damp. That that leafiness that really related to that earthy, damp, sour dirt. And some wood notes. So yeah, that's what I taste for now. I'm gonna go enjoy this today. The drink. Of the day is actually this. I don't know if a lot of people seen this one. It's called uh, Dr. Pepper Nama. Uh, in, Jap uh, in English, it would be Dr. Pepper Raw. Raw. Uh, now, supposedly, when you drink... Did I say Dr. Pepper? I, I mean Pepsi. I mean Pepsi. Pepsi Raw. Dr. Pepper. I just came to, I want I want to drink Dr. Pepper to be honest. So supposedly when you drink Pepsi in the US, it's just really just syrup and artificial flavoring and soda water. So they are trying to be like health conscious in Japan. So they decided to make one where a portion of it is back to the rule where they use like organic organic flavoring rather than uh, other flavoring but like I can't tell if this is it it just it doesn't tell me what it's made out of other than the fact that they, they they're using the old way to make this thing okay now this thing's supposed to have zero sugar and all organic and stuff like that but like the English label actually literally say water, fruit, fructose syrup, sugar, salt, carbonic acid, and fruit flavor. So I don't know if there's a translation error or whatnot, but once I drink it, if it tastes like crap, I will know. So yeah, let me smoke one third of that, drink some of this, and I'll be right back. Okay. All right. One third of the way. Uh, it's actually not a bad cigar. 
out of the fact that the draw is a little bit tight. It's woodsy, it's earthy. Um, it has this lingering bitterness, but it wasn't that bitter. It's bitter, but it's not crazy bitter. So you can tell that it's tried to, you know, release some nice note, but that lingering bitterness kind of like holds it back a little bit. Yeah, there is that sweet cedar characteristic that's tried to come out, but whenever I get it, bitterness comes through and just wipe it out. So we will have to see how that goes in second third. Oh yeah, by the way, this soda, yeah, it's it's it's, it's sugared, uh, but it tastes like a watered down Pepsi. So if you are somebody that like, oh, uh, I love Pepsi, but the uh, the taste is way too strong for me. Then uh, you will like this because it's like watered down Pepsi. Yep, watered down Pepsi. But to their defense, they say they use some natural flavoring that's not brewed and it's just extraction. And that gives it a different taste, supposedly, or more natural taste, my ass. Okay, going to the second third. Be right back. All right, second third. Um, that that sweetness just struggles to come out, right? There's an overwhelming leafiness to this cigar. Overwhelming, like you can tell, like it's like sucking on a wet leaf. But this thing is not wet; it's dry, right? It just tastes like a wet leaf that was being burned. I don't know if it's under fermented or something, but it tastes like a wet leaf. And that sweetness, every time you taste a little bit, see the boom gone, and then you get. You get that wet leaf and earthiness on top of that. So, I don't know. This starts to disappoint me a little bit. Um, I'm not a big Central Penza fan. I just think that, you know, it's kind of cool. But um, it starts to disappoint me. I'm kind of worried that Laster isn't going to be that good either. But, props for using bling bling bands. I like that. So, I'm going to... Not, not that sly, I guess. I don't know. And then you get a TAA band, which you can barely see anything. Yeah. Now, I don't know how I feel about TAA, to be honest with you. Because only TAA can carry it. TAA shops can carry it. And it's not their it's not their normal blend. Like They just pick a blend and call that theirs, right? So it's not really shine. Like... It doesn't make the individual brand shine as much. I just feel like that way. I mean, they don't go and say, this is the blend I want to use as TAA. They go to TAA and pick a blend of stairs. <laughs> so I, I don't understand it really, other than the uh, way of pushing an extra cigar that you don't really have to worry about because it's already being put together. I don't know. So yeah, last stir. You right All right, last a little bit. So here's the thing. Um, it's leafy, it's earthy, it's damp, it has a little bitterness, it's not a good cigar. It's not a good cigar. This little bit finally have a little bit of that woodsiness I'm looking for, but the rest of the cigar isn't there. Uh, the string is, a, I would say this is mile, mile plus at most. So to me, this is a $6 cigar. It's not worth uh, whatever nice dollar and change that they're looking for. And I will not buy this again. It's too bad. The thing about TA is that everybody want to try some, but I don't think they put that much effort in the majority of the blends. So it's unfortunate. But yeah, $6, I will skip it. If you don't have to, you know, smoke this one, then you don't have to. $6. Very disappointing. For a light mild cigar that is now this is one of those examples where it's dark but it's light so yeah that would be it for this particular review i hope you like it if you like like subscribe comment share it let's get to 1000 subscriber i'm still in the path to get to 1000 subscriber at the moment of this re video recording so hopefully we'll get there sometime and um yeah and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys